Good evening, my name is Alan Nyhart and you're listening to the A-List Podcast. And today's topic is going to be a topic that I have been dying to talk about on the A-List Podcast and that is veteran television. And it's made by veterans and it's for veterans and basically anybody with a irreverent sense of comedy, if you will. Uh, People such as one, veterans of course, but two, Firefighters, uh, LEO, which is law enforcement, um, doctors, nurses, basically anyone who deals with carnage on a daily basis that uses comedy to alleviate stress and they try to make light of dark situations to sort of cope with it, that's going to be the kind of people that they're aiming for. And the whole brainchild behind the operation is Donnie O'Malley, a Marine, who is no longer in the Marines, but, you know, the the whole saying, you know, once a Marine, always a Marine, you know, so uh, he was in the infantry, I believe that he was an officer um, in the infantry of the Marine Corps, so he will obviously is the man to do the job. Now... Uh, Basically, Veteran Television is a subscription-based service that costs $5 per month. And they basically have different series that you can watch. So, for instance, they have uh, a a thing called Checkpoint Charlie, which sort of follows uh, the military police with the United States Army. They also have Devil Docs, which is a... Navy Corpsman show that is on a green side BAS uh, recruiters mission first which follows uh, recruiters and the struggles that they have to deal with with recruiting uh, grunts life which follows Marines deployed overseas in Afghanistan and I gotta tell you just from that small list that I gave you there's many more but those right there are my favorite and they are absolutely hilarious and, you know, they try to recreate the best and the worst parts of the military experience. Uh, for instance, on a series called Kill, Die, Laugh, they have an episode about MEPS. And they sort of make fun of the whole process. For instance, they, uh, as they were like doing background screenings on people... Uh, one of the, the new guys that's looking to join the military and he, he thinks the military is like the most uh, organized, perfect thing in the world. And he's like, man, they, you know, these guys really uh, check everyone thoroughly. It's really nice. So as the uh, MEPS guy was uh, looking up somebody's record, it's at like a felony, you know, Grand Theft Auto, stuff like that. And he looked over at the guy, and the guy's sort of sweating. And the MEPS guy just deleted the record and said, yep, you're good to go. So, you know, they they make fun of that aspect. They were making fun of the doctors, like, you know, whenever they're checking the people's prostates. And, you know, they made them out to look gay, basically. You know, like, oh, look at that guy's butt. Oh, look at this. So, you know, it's just really funny. Like, that that's fun humor. And, you know, they also have dark humor where they talk about controversial topics such as, like, sexual assault, uh, veteran suicide, things of that nature. And, you know, at times, like, a lot of people get offended, but people who are veterans do not get offended. And, you know, me as a firefighter, like, that's one of the closest jobs that you could have to the military. And it... I like I totally get it and that's why I'm not offended by it. I I think it's absolutely brilliant because they don't exploit the topics. They genuinely bring to light of and make fun of these different kinds of topics. And you know, I could go on and on about it. Um and you know, they did pick up a lot of controversy uh with different media outlets, but the number one media outlet that had pretty much a a massive problem with veteran television was Vice and they did this whole topic about veteran television and they basically tried to like tear them to shreds by saying like oh you guys are 
doing too much dark humor and I find it offensive and how is this helping people and I think it gave Donnie O'Malley an excellent opportunity to explain pretty much everything I was saying and you know they they genuinely do have a mission and it's a mission that I just absolutely love and one of the the key points of their mission is to prevent veteran suicide which is at is at an alarmingly high rate right now and you know they they do this by making them laugh uh they also bring the whole veteran community together you know they um, invite veterans to different veteran outposts for different premieres they have hikes and walks and you know just general get-togethers and you hear Donnie O'Malley say this they say that uh, social um, isolation for a veteran is probably one of the worst things for them especially veterans with PTSD and that's why he he brings them together and he's had nothing but great great feedback and um, you know really just general praise from different veterans and I believe that this is something that is needed in the world, particularly for veterans. And I think Donnie O'Malley is doing such a great job with the rest of his team, of course. You know, he has a awesome staff, uh, men and women, that are all veterans, of course. And they are just absolutely brilliant in their writing. And you, you could tell from some of the first episodes that they ever made to the episodes now like just the general production of it has just increased tenfold like you know Grunt's Life has some really good effects and you know they another thing that I, I love about it you know I sort of talked about how they recreate the military experience and you know they show how the military actually is and they, they show all the hazing and just the general like ass hats you know that that they whenever they mess around and and really just mess with each other it it really shows that on how it actually is and you know apart from the whole like hazing and and you know messing around thing they really pinpoint fine details everything from the uniforms which are exceptionally done well I mean they're they're accurate as all could be because and, and it better be because it's veterans who made it opposed from Hollywood you know for instance Hurt Locker I, don't get me wrong I love the Hurt Locker it's, it's my favorite movie actually but they were kind of I think I can't remember who but somebody posted a picture from veteran television uh, showing you know Jeremy's um you know, uniform and gun and stuff like that, and they're showing how the the uh, different camouflages were mis mismatching, how he wasn't wearing the proper gloves and no eye protection, things of that nature, and that's something that they really focus on, and it's something that that I really appreciate because you know I don't know the difference because I wasn't in the military. I, I mean, I was in ROTC for four years in the Navy, so I, I could you know see some things that are wrong in movies and stuff like that but you know basically veterans are the only ones who, who are going to know how accurate it is and from all the feedback that I've seen they are extremely accurate but like I said this is veteran television is something that is needed in the veteran community and I, I couldn't agree more with all of Donnie's uh, mission statements and, you know, like I said, there is a lot of fun humor and dark humor. And, you know, I think it's something that everyone should give a try. You know, I think that the that the general population should, should either subscribe to it, pay $5 a month. I mean, you pay $5 to go to McDonald's, so, I mean, $5 a month is, is dirt cheap. You know, pay for it. Watch a few episodes. If it's too offensive for you. You know, you could unsubscribe, but, you know, they also have a donation button if you want to donate to them. Um, I really recommend doing so because they really are pulling the veteran community together. 
and they are doing wonderful, wonderful things, and I, I commend them for that. So, I definitely plan on doing more podcasts regarding veteran television. I'm actually about to wrap this one up for today, but hopefully I could get an interview with Donnie O'Malley. I think that would be awesome, or at least somebody um, over at Veteran Television. I'd love to have them uh, be interviewed and hear a little bit more about Veteran Television. You know, leave a comment down below if you like that. If you want to hear more about it, I'm going to link all of their stuff in the description below. So if you're even the slightest bit interested, go check them out. I'm not being endorsed by them or promoted. Um, I'm strictly doing this from my own heart. And I, like I said, I think it's great. So like I said, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below on how we could approve the show. Or what we should talk about next podcast. I have a few ideas already, but still send me a few comments down below. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Alan Neihart, and thanks for tuning in to the A-List Podcast.